George Dreamer Jr. Yes. David Puyer. Donor Goldsberg. Sonia Little Hawk Weston. Uh, John Steele Sr. Yes. Craig Dillon. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yes, unanimous. Councilman Dillon, you had a question. I'll do it. Um, Chair, remember we was gonna do a motion on Christy Nome, and I think that was to get with all the other tribes, right, Craig, and see if we don't have a lawsuit against her. That's my motion to authorize you to reach out to the other tribes and and work on that. Okay. Yes, uh, just uh, FYI, that's that is happening. Uh, we are meeting this Friday and Saturday. Uh, also, we'll be in ceremony too uh, in that time. Um, just to, uh, you know, a lot of the chairmen are, you know, again, they look, uh, they're seeing what the, uh, the Oglala are doing. So, and and you see it on social media as they're all pit, uh, weighing in on what governor is doing. There is talk. This is why we're having this emergency meeting of the tribal leaders this weekend is to discuss these topics. So it is in motion. And, uh, again, we all have our processes. So whatever we decide, we'll bring it back to our tribes. Chairman. In the meantime, I would like uh, to put out a statement too. So. Chairman, so my motion is to allow you, or have you put that statement out, but also I'm amend my motion that we are going to file a lawsuit. We will file a lawsuit and all the other tribes can join us if they wish. That's what I want to hear. Okay. All right, thank you. That's my you. motion. Okay, so we have a, a motion by Councilman Jumping Eagle, second by Councilman Dillon, Councilman Watkins, anybody else? Uh, <laughs> All those by, by the council. Out there. <laughs> Motion by the council. Um, so, uh, with that, Secretary, call roll. Wesley Hawkins, Senior. Oh. Hermona DeBray. Yes. Ryan Jumping Eagle, Senior. Yes. Austin Watkins, Senior. Tyler Yellowboy. Yes. Wendell Youngman, Jr. Yes. James Cross. Anna Halverson. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. David Puyer, Donor Gosper, Sonia Little Hawk Weston, uh, John Steele Sr. Yes. Craig Dillon. Yes. Thirteen, yes, one not voting. Motion carried. Councilman Hawkins, go ahead. Uh, motion. To approve secretary's report. Secretary's minutes. Secretary's minutes. We'll minutes. Yeah, I'll second them. Okay, so we have motion. Second. Okay, so we have a motion by Councilman Hawkins, sec second by Councilman Booyer and Councilman Little Hawk Weston. February 20th. 27th, 2024, March 4th, 2024. Okay. So good. There's there's only one set of minutes for executive committee. Would you like to include that? With, I'll include the executive committee also on uh, February 26th, 2024. Okay. So, Secretary, call for the vote. Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Oh. Hermona DeBray. Yes. Yes. Ryan Jumping Eagle, Sr. Yes. Austin Watkins, Sr. Tyler Yellowboy. Yes. Wendell Youngman Jr. Yes. James Cross. Yep. Anna Halverson. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. David Puyer. Yes. Donna Gosper. Sonia Little Hawk Weston. Uh, John Steele Sr. John Steele. 
Yes. Craig Dillon. Um. 13 yes, one not voting, motion carried. President. Go ahead. I know we got it through email. I'd like to make a motion to approve the Oyata Health Report. Second. Okay, so we have a motion by Councilwoman Little Hawk West End, second by Councilwoman Halverson and Councilman Hawkins. Thank you, Chair. Uh, hold on, hold on. No, hold on. Yeah. Oh. We'll, let it, we'll run this one. Okay. Secretary, call for the vote. Wesley Hawkins, Sr. No. Hermona Debray. And not voting. Ryan Jumpin Eagle Sr. Yes. Austin Mockin Sr. No. Tyler Yellowboy. No. Wendell Youngman Jr. No. James Cross. Yes. Anna Halverson. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. No. David Puyer. Donra Gosper. Sonia Littlehawk Weston. Ha. Uh, John Steele Sr. No. Craig Dillon. Seven yes, six no, one now voting. Motion carried. Councilman, go ahead. Uh, motion to table 35 and 36. Uh, BIA is right here. Yeah. Huh? Uh. I should have looked wrong, sorry. <laughs> so did you want to withdraw your motion or? Okay. Did we do that? Is IHS here? I think IHS is the only one that's not here. Okay, so you motion on the table, second by Councilman Ross. Call for the vote. Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Oh. Hermona Debray. Yes. Ryan Jumpin Eagle, Sr. No. Austin Watkins, Sr. Tyler Yellowboy. Yes. Wendell Youngman, Jr. James Cross. Anna Halverson. Yes. George Dreamer, Jr. Yes. David Puyer. David Puyer. Donald Gosper, Sonia Littlehawk Weston, John Steele Sr. Yes. Craig Dillon. Unanimous 14, motion carried. Okay, um, at this time, we'll turn it over to uh, B BIA the Superintendent. Greetings, uh, President Starr comes out, Vice President Mousseau, Secretary Lou Two Lance, and Tribal Council. Um, oftentimes, you know, in our busy lives, we do not get an opportunity to express gratitude for each other. And I, I would like to say that it's an honor to work with you. Um, I think I'll start out with um, an update on the Oglala or on the dams. Um, The groundbreaking ceremony was held on March 12, 2024 at the Oglala Dam. There was a good turnout. 
Um, the speakers were principal deputy assistant, um, Wizipan uh, Guru, and um, uh, Mr. Uh, sorry, I just lost track of his name. Oh. And Brian Newland. Yeah, it went really well. So I just want to bring that out. And then also, um, I lost my report. My computer just shut down. Yes, go ahead, Councilman uh, Hoyer. Chair, I think we're the superintendent. The most important thing that I want to hear, where we have with GA. Um, so with GA, we um, took our fund status report, which is our financial with the Bureau's financial report, and we compared that with the social services financial report, and those findings were sent to the regional office and the Office of Human Services in D.C., and they're planning to review those on Friday. March 29th. So when is the possibility of the recipients to receive? Next year, two weeks, two months? I'm hoping soon. Um, they will be uh, reimbursed for any time, any, any of the months that they weren't paid. So half of December is gonna be dispersed. November, or December, October, or December, January, February, March, and then we've got April payments coming due. So, but they will get they will get back pay. Well, I hope so because you know most of us in here are probably taking helping them people keep their lights on, propane going. I mean, food. Food. I mean, it, this is ridiculous of what's going on. Thank you. I agree. Our, you know, our members are hurting, and it hurts me not to be able to assist them. But we are working towards that, and hopefully, we can, they can come to a resolution on Friday. Council, a little hot question. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good evening uh, to the superintendent. You know, my question. You kind of just, you know, gave us a little report on the White Clay Dam, the Oglala Dam, and you know, uh, getting a text about, are they going to dredge the lake area? Yeah, I do believe that is in the plan to do some dredging. Yes. Okay, so I think- some, I will find uh, out for sure, but I, I do recall that that conversation. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Chairman. Councilman Yellowboy. Thank you, Mr. Chair. That, that was part of that plan. Gina, in one of the meetings we, we were visiting, but um, we had some questions arose yesterday when I, we had our district chair and our vice chair here, um, and it's in regards to the application process. Um, <clears throat> that was one of the questions as to if we can get a get it um, kind of simplified because a lot of people don't have still don't have access to internet or getting online to filling out the application. And so that was one of the concerns that was brought up. And yesterday, my both myself and Councilman Youngman tried to get on the call uh, with Todd and them to to kind of bring that up as a concern. Um, but we were unable to get on the call. They we weren't they wouldn't let us in. <laughs> so, uh, and then my next uh, question, and and I'm bringing this up because it's another question from the district, and we have a district meeting tomorrow evening, and it's in regards to um the baseball field and the powwow grounds that are there around the dam project um if they were going to be uh redone or if they were going to be moved or anything and that's why both myself and councilman Youngwin was trying to get on the call you should answer these ask these questions but again we weren't allowed or they didn't ex hit accept to let us into the meeting so Okay, um, President Starr comes out, has been on some of those planning meetings and he expressed his, you know, what what the tribe would like to see. And those weren't part of that, but I can, they're meeting on every Tuesday, I believe. So 
you can dial in anytime on those meetings. Well, uh, I was, I was, if I may, I'm sorry, I'm jumping on a conversation, but uh, there was limited funding uh, for that project. They, they, I, I believe they found about half a million dollars. And that's they were asking for a wish list. What is your priorities? So that's what we did was a was we 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 made a wish list uh, that day. But I'm I'm sure you could still change it around. But if that's what they want, but you still have to. I I don't know if it's locked in. Is it locked in? No, they haven't made the final. They were waiting for the the you know the yeah. other meeting with the tribe. Yeah, so we requested a, uh, just some ideas of top 10. Uh, they only asked for a few, but we added more and more on our boat dog, you know, for uh, economic development, you know, a swimming area, uh, um, a park with lights, um, something where uh, a bathroom facility, things like that. Uh, um, maybe even an RV. Uh, park and uh, we added uh, all kinds of things but you know again they said uh, well we, we don't have the funds for that so I said well we got to dream big you know thank you for that, that information there Mr. Chairman um, so, so with that you could probably take that back and say you, you could probably make adjustments if it's not locked in if that's what Oglala wants okay yeah that was one of the questions that's on tomorrow's district agenda item, so we'll give them that update, but next Tuesday, can you let us in? <laughs> well, I, it'd probably be better if I just sent you direct links to it, and then that way you just, oh, okay. We do have direct links, and so they're hooked up to our calendars. It's just, we were in teams, we were waiting for somebody to hit a button to let us in, but we sat here for like 20 minutes waiting to be let in. So just let us in next Tuesday. <laughs> Mr. Chair, give me the floor. So, um, well, I, uh, I told me to chair the meeting, but um, um, thank you, Superintendent, for coming, um, giving a report, especially on general assistance. And, and um, I hope our, our people heard, heard because that, that's that's a um, you know that that that's really for not for them not getting general assistance really set them back and they really struggled all these months struggled and struggled and I'm glad that the treasurer helped his council reps to help them and we do our best to to try to help them any way we can um, but and the, the treasurer made a report too and it was regarding the. Uh, um, maps, you know, since my back, you know, we, I, I, I've asked, Davey asked, you know, over and over and over and over, we wanted to update a map on, uh, um, after COVID, uh, my back. And we were promised a map and I don't know if we got a map that was, it wasn't a map. It was just, uh, it didn't have no, it didn't have what we wanted. And so I think you know what we're requesting is an updated map after buyback. And so we need that for, for, for the treasurer. And so um, I would like to make that motion to for you to to get the updated map and to give it to us because it, it, it you know we could use that to our benefit. And so and so it's really it's really important. I mean, can't emphasize enough how important it is. For us to have that map, so, so I would like to make that motion, sir. Okay, so we have a motion. A question. Okay. For the council's information, the meeting that BIA I think sponsored last week in Rapid City, I for council information and executive, I think we worked it out on this map another agency is going to help our agency get that color-coded map which on the buyback. That's what was 
that was hallway talk that we worked out in in rapid last last week. So, ho but we can still run the motion. But that's I think we got it worked out. Hopefully, because Mr. Beans Weston, Lionel Weston, was in on the conversations with us. Yeah. Huh? Okay, I'll second your motion then. Okay, so we got a motion by Councilman Cross, second by Councilman Puyer, and Councilman Watkins. Secretary, call for the vote. Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Oh. Ramona DeBray. Yes. Ryan Jepanigo, Sr. No. Austin Watkins, Sr. Tyler Yellowboy. Yeah. Wendell Youngman, Jr. James Cross. Yes. Anna Halverson? No. George Dreamer Jr.? Yes. David Puyer? Yes. Don Roy Gospair? Oh. Um, Don Roy Gospair? I didn't hear you, sorry. Sonia Little Hawk Weston? Ha. Uh. John Steele Sr.? Yes. Craig Dillon. Yes. Thirteen yes, one not voting. Motion carried. Any more questions? Go ahead, Councilwoman Halverson. Um. Yeah, I think we're all thankful to hear the update on the GA, but is there any updates on probates? Are they catching up to be a little bit more um, on time, like without years behind? Um, yeah, we did reach out to, her name is um, Charlene Toledo, and she's the head of probates and um, the regional office, and they're going to come up with a plan to assist us in getting them up to date. Councilman Yellowboy. Thank you. Um, I guess, can you give, I, I got a text and they're inquiring about why the land leases are taking, home site leases are taking a little bit longer than usual. Is there a reason for that? Are you backed up or? No, there's, there's no backup in home site leases. I guess if you give me that information on the back you know off offline i can check into it for you but we're as far as i know we're pretty you know unless they're working with a bank or something of that sort uh, it'd be a leasehold mortgage is that what you're referring to or are you uh, just talking to home, home sites site? in general okay thank you any more questions A motion to approve the BIA report. Okay. We have a motion to approve the report by Councilwoman Halverson, second by Councilman Hawkins. Secretary, call for the vote. Wesley Hawkins. Vote. Oh. Hermona Debray. Yes. Ryan Jumping Eagle Senior. Yes. Austin Watkins Sr., Tyler Yellowboy. Yes. Wendell Youngman Jr., James Cross, Anna Halverson. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. No. David Puyer. No. Don Red Gosper. No. Sonia Little Hawk Weston. Ha. Huh. John Steele Sr. Yes. Craig Dillon. No. Then yes, four no. Motion carried. Thank you for coming today, uh, Ms. Duville, giving us a report. Um, with that, we have a motion to adjourn by Councilman Puyer, second by Councilman Watkins.
Secretary, call for the vote. Chair. Yes. Yes. Uh, just for um, some housekeeping tomorrow, finance chambers. So just so everybody knows. Um, real quick, uh, Councilman Germany, uh, would we're so we're going to be suing for uh, what was the motion again? Defamation. Okay, I just want to make that clear. All right, Mr. Right clear. Yes, I just want to go on record on on Mr. Red Willow. Um, ask us to to do an apology. Yes. So as a council rep, I want to make that apology to the district, to the school here, and because I got my grandkids going to school here. Uh, and I want to leave that, leave it with a, a good energy here, despite what happened this past two days. You know, it was it was pretty heavy, and so I want to leave that in a, in a good way. Um, on behalf on behalf of the community and our, the, the, the the children that go to school here, so I just want to go on record for that. Thank you. Uh, I'll, second, I'll second that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Adjourn. Adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Hermona Debray. Yes. Ryan Jumpenigo, Sr. No. Yes. Wait, I didn't do my Austin Hawkins, Sr. <laughs> Tyler Yellowboy. Wendell Youngman, Jr. James Cross. Anna Halverson. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. David Puyer. Yeah. Donroy Gosper. Sonia Little Hawk Weston. John Steele Sr. Yeah. Craig Dillon. Unanimous 14. Motion carried. We adjourn at 626. Hey, thank you. So again, I want to say thank you to um, the folks here.